Well, howdy. This week, we here at Squirrels of Doom have been mighty taken by the recent release of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, in honor of it, on this week's Drinking with Geeks, we are going to review three American whiskeys while we play Red Dead Redemption. Uh, are we both going to have to do that accent the whole time? No. No, that's the end of the accent. It's cute, though. I like it. That's very kind. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you flatter me. While we review our first whiskey, Roz is going to try some hunting. So what do we drink while we're hunting? We've got some wild turkey, Kentucky straight bourbon. It's a nice, like, relatively inexpensive bourbon. If you've had an old-fashioned in a bar where it hasn't specifically told you which brand of uh, bourbon is in it, it was probably this. So let's pour ourselves some and get you hunting. I always feel kind of bad hunting. I would like to just collect pictures of animals. So if I could shoot with a camera. So you can actually pull up your items wheel here and you do have a camera that you can take pictures. Oh, that's, that's a, a nice creepy focus. Tim burton -y tree. I haven't done too much with the cameras. That's my kind of shooting. But I understand this is a game. A huge part of survival, you know, for your character and in the wilderness is being able to hunt animals and you use everything, right? Yep. How am I going to look them in their little cute faces and then eat them? Sort of like, remember when we went to the farm and I made you help me chase that moose for a photograph of him? I actually do have a mission to collect a squirrel carcass, so... Well, not a waste. There. Wild turkey, let's get you hunting. Whiskey number one. This is actually pretty nice. Sweet, caramelly. Yeah, it doesn't have much smokiness. There's not a lot, you know, it's definitely a bit of a younger bourbon. It doesn't have as much of the wood character yet for an inexpensive bourbon. This is great. a great place to start. So you're gonna teach me. Yes. Oh, look at that view. Dang. Oh, someone's over there. Nice, nice. Yep. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find something to hunt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm thinking like a turkey. Ooh, people. Don't hunt people, that'll go badly for you. That's just, um, that is a life lesson, folks. We found us some turkeys. Roz, make sure your varmint rifle is equipped. Uh. L1. Oops. No, that was the wrong button. That was R2. <laughs> uh, L1. And see, your Lancaster repeater is what you've got. So you want to go to your varmint rifle there. Okay. Yeah. Because you got to stay hidden. Okay. We're not going to worry about them smelling you for now. You sure. do have, like, things you can do about that. There you go. Or you can try and find a better one, because that's only a two-star turkey. It's up to you. I'm okay with a two-star turkey. So now try and sneak a little bit closer. Is that yeah, close that's enough? Yeah, plenty close. You have a scope. They're not moving too much. So I gotta shoot him in his little head. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you got it. Now you can skin your turkey. My first turkey kill. Oh, it's a good Thanksgiving. This could get graphic. Oh, gosh. Damn! Oh my god, wait till we, like, do a deer or something. Damn. Yeah, cheers. My first turkey kill. Shall we hunt some deer? Something a little bigger? A little cuter? <laughs> Turkeys aren't very cute. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll bring mm -hmm. that meat back, or we'll cook it for ourselves. Why don't you, uh, show me what you want to kill? You know what, first, I gotta spend some time with my horse. I'm gonna give her a good pat. It's okay, girl. So you can actually spend quite a bit of time with your horse. And my biggest disappointment about this is you only like brush the same part of their neck the whole time, even if you take their saddle off, which I feel like you gave me a lot of animations, Rockstar, and you kind of cheaped out on that one. Uh, and who doesn't want to spend a ton of time? Bit. Okay, that's adorable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, don't you want to spend a whole bunch of time brushing them down, getting them all the way to their little feet? I know, I know. I would like to restore my dead eye. So probably the best way to do that is to drink some rum, which will give me a bit of dead eye, a bit of stamina. What do you get when you drink bourbon? A bit of stamina and a bit of dead eye, but it damages your health core. <laughs> um, Cheers. There, that's a three star. Clean. Oh, it wasn't clean enough. Well, the good thing is you killed it in one shot and it didn't suffer. Yeah. Oh my. We're just getting right up in there. Oh, yeah. They don't skimp on 
on the animation for this one. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. What are we up to next? Right now, we are going to go back to camp and see if we can... Uh, hope there. <laughs> I rode my horse too far into camp and people are getting pissed off. <laughs> play some games. Sometimes you can play some, like, poker. Sometimes you can play some dominoes. Yeah, I've done a few rounds of dominoes. And maybe while Arthur eats, we should have a little something-something. Yeah, yeah, you should pour us our next whiskey. Tin cup whiskey from Colorado. So this one is, it's just an American whiskey. They don't get to say, you know, bourbon or rye because they're sort of doing their own thing. There's pretty strict rules about what you can call what in the US. It has this little jigger that it comes with that, that gives it its name and it just screams like prospectors at, back at camp. And we thought it would be the perfect sip for hanging around camp and uh, playing some games with our fellow outlaws. It's like quarter to five in the morning or something. So people might not really be up for games. What? Crime doesn't sleep? We'll sleep till noon and then see if people are ready. That sounds like a respectable bad guy outlawish time to wake up for the day. Yeah. To being a respectable bad guy. Indeed. Tin cup. Mmm. Oh, that's smooth. This is much lighter mm. than the uh, the wild turkey. Very smooth. I like smooth the flavors uh, left on your tongue. Yeah. As you uh, as you drink this guy. This one's got a little bit of barley in it. Mm. Oh, I see. I see an icon for dominoes. You can also like do chores around camp and stuff. Like we could go chop wood or haul, uh, you know, feed over to the horses. So on the weekend, you spend fourteen hours doing camp chores. A hundred percent I did. I did no real chores, <laughs> but I chopped a lot of fake firewood. So we're playing the camps like chef. Mm. Well, not chef, mm -hmm. cook. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I do rather enjoy cooking gator. The gators can be pretty scary when you're like swimming through the bayou or something. Stop! What? Gator? When you're not paying enough attention and suddenly a gator comes out of nowhere and attacks you. Uh, gets the heart going. This is pretty normal in games for us, is for me to play the actual game and then Roz comes in and plays the mini games within the game. She is a Gwent master. I love Gwent! Uh, such a good game. In fact, we might have stopped playing Gwent because I got really good at Gwent. Uh, that was the this real Gwent the, mm -hmm. when we were mm -hmm. doing the beta, when they were trying to do the real one. I was practicing so much and feeling really good right. and like beating people online. It was like... Yeah, let's have a couple games, and Ross had barely touched it and just beat the snot out of me a bunch of times, and I was like, this isn't fun anymore. Still getting the hang of this one. Bad. It's not going good here. I mean, you're beating him. We also played a bit of poker. I especially had a good time when we had to be bad at poker. No spoilers. Sorry, team. You know, I actually quite like playing dominoes in person. It's a solid mini game. I can see a domino set from here, in fact, in our room. Yeah. It's been years since we pulled out and done anything with it, but that's beside the point. I'm not asking. Domino. Yeah, I just I'm wanted sure to win one so we could have this. a say in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess there's just nobody else to play poker with. It lied to us. This is the saddest like, we sat poker down played, game I've ever been to. Yeah. It was like, come, sit down, play poker. And then we sat down and it was like, ha ha, no one's there. Psych. Leave. <laughs> okay. That is a poker table of lies. Um, let's ride on into the bayou and maybe like do some catfish uh, fishing. My favorite part about watching you play through these sections is having recently been to Louisiana and how much the game captures the look of that area, the locations. I mean, the plantation that you went to was just, we were just there on a tour. Yeah, everything felt like exactly like where we've just been. It was pretty crazy. It's There's not really fast travel in the game so much because they want you to take it at the slow pace and just sort of have to do it all. But what you can do is set a waypoint and as long as there's a direct path, you can put on this cinematic camera and then just sort of like sit back and watch it happen. Every once in a while you get attacked or like ambushed and you gotta like jump back in really quickly. So you don't wanna just like put it on and then leave or you'll probably die. Also, but your girlfriend might be playing her own game, and you leave to go to the bathroom. You could have at least paused. You could have hit pause. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. 
basic gamer decency. Well, let's finish up our tin cup while we head to the fishing, and then maybe we'll start our third one, which is the most exciting one we're reviewing. Michter's Straight Rye. This is a bit of a fancier one. This is a, at the higher end of what we're trying today. In the US, it's not like a super expensive bottle, but here in BC, it's not the cheapest stuff to get. Um, so let's give it a try. As you can see, we have actually tried this a little bit. Let's pour it and revel again in how delicious this is. But well, we're gonna be trying it in the light of... In the light of cowboy country. Digital cowboy country. For you. Thank you, partner. And for me. So, Roz, you've done a little bit of fishing mm -hmm. with some like small fish in this game. That's correct. Rock bass, bluegill. Bluegill. Have caught, you caught a lot a, of bluegill. Have you caught anything like a smallmouth bass or? I caught a or, salmon. Like, oh, you caught a salmon. So you yeah, have caught yeah. something a little bit bigger, like kind of a medium-sized mm -hmm, fish. Mm -hmm. We are gonna try you with something big and try for a channel catfish in the Ooh. swamps. But first drinks. Mm. Oh, that's oh my. Good. So caramelly and spicy. Here we are. It's we raining, are. just like most of BC. Yeah, except we're in the swamps of Lemoyne. Who are we riding here? We're riding Annie again. Yeah, we're riding Annie. Ooh, what's She's that so over pretty. there? That's oh. like the dock we can fish from or something. I see, see you just mow right through all the plants. There. Just, yeah, and hope yeah. there's no gators. Uh, otherwise, your horse is gonna get real uppity real quick. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yes. I mean, I have seen a few gators, and that my reaction was, we should run away. And we were in the car. They don't eat people. They eat people all the time. They don't. Last year, Sarasota County, Florida. The only time in my life that I've been fishing. Oh my gosh, oh, look, look at the at size that. of that fish. Yeah, there's some good fish here we can go for, for sure. Okay, yes, the only thing I've actually caught in real life is a snail. How did you catch a snail? With a fishing rod. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, All right. here we go. So, you want to use a swamp lure as opposed Ooh. to the like cheese I mean, step or one, worms let's... or whatever you've been using before. Okay, and Although so... you do see that one there, it's probably better to even though he's like, I could probably hit him with my gun butt and take him. Uh, you could shoot him with a bow and arrow and catch him that way if you wanted, <gasps> yes. And his um, friend! Oh, you. Okay, no, 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 we'll, we'll real fish. Like, let's... Yeah. If they're um, there, Oh, they're, they're out, out there. there. They're like, look at them splashing around like dummies. Yes. Giving away their location. I've dissected a lot of fish. I have not actually done much fishing. Okay, I'm gonna bait. Swamp lure! Hold this bad boy out. Figure out where we're going. And there's some splashies. Splashy. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Hut. Pshow. Nice. Go. We're gonna take it nice and slow. Maybe a little wiggle. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. It's nice and spicy like a rye should be, but relatively smooth. I mean, we've had a couple at this point. Now we need to catch a couple fish for dinner. You don't even like fish, which is the sad part. I can't I even talk about how delicious these little mother porkers would be. I wish I liked fish, because uh, I think fishing would be kind of fun if you liked fish. No nibbles, no nibbles. Well, a lame. Try again. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'm, whoa, look at this, it's a party. I am undaunted. Yeah. I am the Vancouver Garden Otter. I will catch fishes. Post a little thing about that the otter with this uh, video. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I mean, he's catching koi. They're literally like fish in a barrel. Well. Oh, here we go. Not literally, but figuratively. Oh. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, he's fighting this way. Oh, here we go. Reel him in, reel him in, reel him in. Hey, buddy, get out of the way. Uh, it shouldn't he's interfere. Coming. They're pretty good like that. He's coming in with his boat right through my fish. What an a-hole! No. Oh, he, he did totally! You should shoot him. Except there's no. probably people watching. No, there's witnesses. This is Red Dead Redemption. You just shoot these people. Didn't even apologize. Red Dead does a good job of making it feel like real fishing. Ugh. Man, you do not have good luck with fishing. Well, did I tell you about the time I caught a snail? Here we are. Another... I mean, it is like midday now, right? So like... Oh, whatever. But still, look at all the fish. Yeah. 
Well, it's getting a, dark. A storm is coming, and the rain actually makes some species oh, of fish go, more likely to bite. Oh, oh, and the thunder. Oh, I'll the bring. I'll bring the thunder. So I'm reeling them in. That was my a little bit of Garth Brooks. It was very nice. Yeah. I was very impressed. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm a real country boy. Uh, I know. Uh, I know several Garth Brooks songs. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, look at him. I um, think he's a catfish. I, I particularly think he's a like the Friends in Low Places ones, which seems uh, particularly fitting for Red Dead Redemption. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got friends in all sorts of low places. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's fighting again. Oh! Oh, that was awesome. So tell me, how bad are your thumbs after playing a bunch of Red Dead fishing? Oh my god, they can get super cramped after a few legendary fish. Although, I think sturgeon and channel catfish are worse than most of the legendary fish I've caught. This guy's a real fighter. Oh, there's a snake in the way. He's going to cut my line. Hold I'm so back. close. I'm so close. Oh, he's a fighter. Tastes good. He's going to taste good. I always feel like bottom feeders must be kind of gross. I have eaten a bunch of catfishes. Yeah? Yeah. Po' boys, man. I got him. Look, oh, at look at this guy! Baby. Woo! Oh, look at Cheers. Oh, I did it! Look at you indeed. Oh, he's magnificent. Look at him. Now that is a channel. Throw back? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... Oh, oh so heavy. Yeah. Oh, Drag him over, Annie. Oh, gosh. What do you think of this? What are your thoughts? Big fan. Yeah? Big fan. Uh, like I said, I really like the caramel, and I really like the spice of the rye. But I'm a big fan of the rye spicy. And now <gasps> I think it's time to it's head rewarding. into San Denis to go to a show. And we're going to be back with something special. <gasps> I've got myself a Sazerac, a classic New Orleans drink. And what are you drinking today, Ross? Normally I would pull a Negroni off screen, but today, Boulevardier. And what is a Boulevardier? It's a Negroni with bourbon. Nice. So, Campari, sweet vermouth, and bourbon. And I like to do mine in equal parts with some orange peel. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we probably won't ever do a full episode about the Boulevardier because there's not that much more to it other than it's a Negroni with bourbon and it was created by an American in France or something that was like, this Negroni is really good, but I'd like something with a little taste of home. A little more fall, I think, is what they wanted. And so they put bourbon in it. Does it smell like fall? It kind of smells like oranges right now because of the orange yeah. peel. But anything with whiskey, like, is a little darker, gives it a little more bit of a fall flavor, I think. Um, but the Sazerac is such a famous mm -hmm. New Orleans drink that they actually have pulled it into the game as the Saint Denis Sazerac. You can see that this recipe, unfortunately, doesn't give volumes, which is not great for a recipe. Classic old school recipes though, am I right? Right. And also, there was one thing I had to change. This says to rinse the first glass with absinthe and then add crushed ice. And then while you're, after you mix everything else, dump out the ice. That's backwards. You should add the cru crushed <laughs> ice to the glass because you're just trying to cool the glass. And then when you're done uh, with everything in the second glass, you dump the ice out, and then you swirl your absinthe. Otherwise, you would lose all your absinthe, and that would just be silly. So what we actually used was this book, which we picked up while we were in New Orleans, because anytime we travel somewhere, we, you know, one of the things we always have to get is a cookbook for the region. Mm. So this is the actual Sazerac recipe that we're using today, and it's virtually the same except that it gives volumes and does the ice in the proper order. So this says bitters from a local apothecary. Classically, in a Sazerac, you would use Peychaud's bitters, which is a classic New Orleans bitters. And the Peychaud's has a very like black licorice kind of flavor to it. So you just want a little bit of that, a little bit of Angostura. In keeping with it saying from local apothecary, we decided to use apothecary brand General Ambrose bitters. Apothecary bitters being a local uh, Vancouver bitters company that's really good. I'm pretty sure so we've good. used General Ambrose in previous videos, probably for our old fashioned. Now let's get on to this show. Buy some tickets. And drink. Yes, most importantly. 
Let's show our Sazerac. Got some lemon peel. It's delicious. Have a taste. Have a taste of your Boulevardier. Mm. That puts a burn right down, uh, right down the old esophagus. <laughs> I want to try this one. Super tasty. I'm going to try this, although I'm pretty sure I won't like it. Although maybe I'll like it more with uh, bourbon instead of oh, gin. Oh, man. These come together to be quite subtle as a pair, considering that each ingredient has its own distinctive, strong, bold flavor. Sazerac's, you know what you're doing. Uh, this and? is actually pretty good. It's still not quite my cup of tea, but I definitely am more into it than I am into a regular Negroni. Back to my Sazerac. That was a pretty sweet little beginning show. What do we got next? I think if we lived in the Old West, we would not have had a vaudeville show. No, we'd have had a whorehouse. <laughs> probably, probably. You know, like, because that seemed to be pretty legal. Um, and lucrative. Very lucrative. But we'd be good about it. Yeah, totally. Safety first. Because I'm going to guess that doing this sort of an act, it is hat. And you are overheating constantly. Also nervous, or at least I would be, so I'd be sweating like a little piglet. Mm -hmm. Well, there's something good coming. This is an epic pose. Guess Woo! what happens? This happens in one of my favorite movies, Lilo and Stitch. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. To call me on my cell phone. Is that a cover of uh, Drake? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Drake transcends time and space. <laughs> All of a sudden, everyone in San Denis is drinking Moscato, which is the other thing I know about Drake. I'm not really up on the pop music. This is much closer to the pop music that I know about. <laughs> did you know that's how this song started? No. Me neither. But I did know that this song was about the newfangled telephone. From The Simpsons? No, I mean, I think if I knew about this from anything, it was probably Looney Tunes and the frog that sings it. And then in oh. Spaceballs, when the chest burster is combined with the frog from Looney Tunes. That part gave me nightmares. It was amazing. But I was recently reading about etymology of some slang, and hello, while it does date to earlier than... I, did we go over all this in the bee's knees, or did I just read about all this? You read about the bee's it. Knees? So hello is actually very strongly associated with the telephone. You know, the, the word existed beforehand, but wasn't a common greeting. But it became the greeting that you used with a, a telephone to the phone, uh, point where operators, who were normally women at the time, were called Hello Girls. Probably at least partly uh, popularized by this song with uh, Hello. So, every time you say hello, you are participating in the grand history of the telephone. It's funny how I bet that lots of other cultures have funny things that are, is there like hello phone slang, because in Japan it's moshi moshi. That I know from The Simpsons. <laughs> uh, from the episode when they find the cereal box <coughs> that's got Homer's face on it. Moshi moshi. Yes, this is Homer Simpson from America. Who may I say is speaking to me? I think that's it for this time. I think let's Choose our cocktails. Choose to the internet. And to Cho Red Dead Redemption. And to Rockstar. I've wasted so much time in this game, it's absurd. Wasted implies not useful. Yeah, it was useful because we got to do this, but I have put off doing things that I should have been doing <laughs> so that I could play Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> and if you like us uh, drinking and playing games and talking about games, let us know. Uh, we love games. We'd love to do more of this. This was super fun for us. So, cheers to the internet. Happy gaming. <laughs>